Uh, great, great basketball environment. My first time here. Really impressive crowd, arena. That was that was fun for for us. That was fun, but th that that's an exciting Big Ten game. I I uh, just really proud of our guys. I thought this is the most unselfish game we've played all year long on both ends of the court. I just thought we had the next man up. Guys helping each other. I thought. Uh, couple guys got off to not a slow start and they rebounded and, and figured it out and really helped us. Uh, Q was really good today, especially in that second half and just so many different guys contributed. But I, I thought our defense guarded the three, the three point line was huge. They didn't, they didn't give them opportunities to, to hurt us that, because that, that's, that's hurt us throughout Big Ten play. Guarded the three point line. I thought we rebounded when we really need to. And I thought Ace just pretty much he was a maestro today, running running the game on both ends of the court. Kept his team together. That was that was an impressive uh, impressive game by our point guard. So uh, great team win, great road win. We finally got one. Uh, there's a formula there for how we have to be on the road. So I'm, I'm just glad our guys found a way to win. Coach, you guys have been really good at forcing turnovers, and that's been a big part of your defensive success. Uh, 20 turnovers today. Was there? Any anything you saw out of Rutgers that allowed you guys to be so successful, or just no? We're going to press everybody and, and try to get deflections. Uh, you know that we, we want to try to get 50 deflections a game. Some deflections lead to turnovers too, even in half court. You know, I just think it's a cumulative effect with our press. You're not always just going to take the ball from people, but you know, there's opportunities to get a trap or, or put them in a tough position, to speed them up. Um, I I did think that. Uh, you know, some of the matchups we could pressure the ball a little, a little more, a little bit longer. But it's just how what we're, is this what we're going to do? Um, you know, we had too many turnovers. You know, we want to be plus ten if we could. We weren't plus ten, but I thought turning them over throughout the game put them on their heels a little bit. Uh, I thought our pressure on the dribbler didn't allow them to smoothly get into their plays. You know, that doesn't show up in the stat line or in turnovers, but that's that cumulative effect we talk about, constant pressure. I thought the guys coming off the bench, Jamil, Ray Q, um, even Leo a couple of times had good pressure. He and Puff, I, I just think we had multiple guys help us with that pressure coming, coming off the bench. DeMarco obviously replaced Kanye in the starting lineup. What can you just say about his play? He had only started one game the entire year before tonight. It was Kanye's first full game out. He looked a little bit banged up at the end there. I wasn't sure, but besides Ace, he was the only guy in double figures. Just what could you say about his performance? Yeah, really proud of him. I told him, you know, you have to be aggressive, and if he makes some mistakes, play through it because you're going to play a lot. And I was just really proud of him. He, he, he went to the rack a couple times, so you could tell he was into the game, and I thought that was huge. That got him going, and he made a couple of nice shots. Thought his defense was really good. He just cramped a little bit. That's why he, we, we had to pull him there. Um, he's a he's a talented offensive player. Um, he's just got to continue to make the game easier, which is what you do with experience and continue to mature. And I have, I have high hopes for him the rest of this year and next year because I think he's a talented player and he's a great kid. His mother gave us a great kid, and he's he's trying, he's learning, he's he's working really hard, and it's great to see him get rewarded for that today. Obviously, this wasn't the prettiest night either side offensively, but what do you tell your guys to really keep them engaged throughout the game? Well, two things, really. Like, you want, you want the game to be smooth all the time, right? But it, it never goes the way you want. So you got to adjust. you got to figure it out. But the most important thing is we're here to try to win a game. So whatever it takes. If we can score 80, great. It's more entertaining. Today we didn't score 80. Uh, but I really I just believe, like, you got whatever it takes to help your team win in that moment, in that play. Like that's the mentality you gotta have to win, because there's different ways to win games all the time, and you know the other team has a lot to do with it. And today both teams didn't shoot it well. Um, it was a physical game, uh, but I just thought I was really proud of. We just kept responding to the next play. We've had too many uh, halves. We have too many possessions. Too many stretches of games where we allow frustration and personal disappointment to affect the next two, three plays. And now, now we, you know, we just got a ten nothing run against us. I thought today was one of the first times. I thought we were just so unselfish with each other that we just kept playing, even though it was ugly. And then we got, and we got a lead, and we had some things go. You know, the ball bounced our way a little bit at the end there too. 
but that's what happens when you're just about the next play. So, yeah, it was ugly, but we finally put a full 40 on the road trying to do it the right way. Proud of the guys for that. I know you talked about Ace being a maestro tonight, but this is now back-to-back -back games where he's played all 40 minutes. Just wanted to talk about, I know you've had him at VCU before this, but his durability, just being able to, you know, be able to run up and down yeah. the floor with no rest. Well, I've coached 28 years. He's one of the toughest kids I've ever been around. Um, uh, he's not the easiest guy to coach because he wants to win so bad even in a drill. He ruins drills in practice because he wants to win so bad. And uh, But he just – he he could be a cornerback playing football or a quarterback or – He'd probably be a heck of a uh, outfielder, you know what I mean? He, whatever sport it is, because his will to win, the dude is so competitive. He's one of the most elite guys I've ever coached when it came, comes just to sheer competitiveness. And then he has the skill and the ability and the way he moves to be a good basketball player at any level. So, you know, the, his his will to win is just elite. And then when it rubs off on others, that, that you know, that really helps. This arena without your leading score is kind of a daunting task. But yeah, but I loved it. This was really cool. I said it to everybody. Like, everybody's on top of you. It goes straight up. Like, it's a basketball arena. It's not a convocation center where you do all this other stuff. That's a basketball arena. And that looked, that was really cool. That was a lot of fun. And I love playing on the road because that's when your team becomes the closest. I've heard about how hard it is to win here. I heard of what happened last year. I've watched a lot of Big Ten games and seen, I mean, even the Purdue game the other day, how awesome of a game that was. And, you know, for us to, where we want to take the program, where I want to, you know, put our mark on the program and Penn State basketball moving forward is you got to go on the road in the Big Ten and beat people on their court. This was a first step for us today. Um, you know, and to do it here hopefully gives our guys confidence to do it at other places. I was just going to say, what was kind of the game plan coming in without, obviously, your leading score? We'll make no excuses, number one. No, there's no excuses. Uh, it's a 40-minute game. Find a way to win. you got to step up for your teammates because we're already down one guy. Now, hey, what are you going to do with the rest, you know, your teammates out there? So, yeah, we, you know, there's no secret formula. People might say there's, you know, no, there's no special potion. you you got to get guys to step up and, sh and, and show up, and then you got to go play the game. These guys know how to play basketball. Now, it's hard because the other team wants to win two. You're on the road. Uh, you know, we're at a disadvantage in talent and athletic ability and size. But I always say this, you never count out a group of young people that are, have the same, the same goal. Some awesome things in, in, in life and in history have occurred because of young people with the same, same approach. Today, it was just basketball for us for 40 minutes. A lot of guys stepped up. So it was a great program one for us. Hopefully we could build on it. All right, guys. All right, have a good night.